chapter 13. I want to visit again to prepare a mother for the closing door ceremony, which is the last part of the burial ceremony in Botmut community. And also to prepare her return to Etiak. A mother is elated due to the fact that she has been separated from her daughter for months and she is happy to go back home. Ahone praises her for her hard work and for placing a huge heap of stone on Mechane's grave and for taking proper care of, of it. She promises that she will bring a goat for the closing door ritual. The cooking ceremony is not an elaborate one, as only a few people, elderly men and women, are invited. This is followed by the closing door and the disposing of the key in the bush. This ceremony is important because it indicates that Mechane's lineage is extinct. The fact that Mechane does not have a male child and Obe's children cannot inherit the compound because they are born from a foreigner is also important. Emadi performs the ritual with tears, but refuses to throw the key in the bush. She throws the key at the door to the surprise of the water women who are afraid that the wrath of the ancestral spirit may visit her. Emadi dismisses their fears and maintains that Mechane's lineage is not extinct. She thinks that the women's fear of death is irrational and reminds them that death can strike anywhere and anyone. The guests live with a feeling of anger. This chapter is brief, but it's very significant as it is one of the burial items in Bakosi tradition and the last phase, which is that of the closing ceremony. It also highlights the patriarchal nature of the society as female children have no right to inheritance. In addition, male children born to a foreigner cannot also inherit property that is the reason why Wobe's children cannot inherit Mechanist compound because they have a, a father who comes from Igbo land. It also focuses on love as the mother refuses to throw the key in the bush with the pretext that the lineage is not extinct. The ceremony is full of melancholy. The manner in which she conducts the ceremony portrays her as loving, as emotional, firm and reproachful of the discriminatory laws of inheritance that deny female children their rights. Aone is very appreciative and concerned. She wants her sister to bring the morning to an end and go back to her house and take care of her daughter in Atiyek.